we, we had an episode on recently with uh, Elizabeth Nicole, and yeah. I was showing it to my parents on, yeah. on Father's Day. Yeah. They just loved him. They wanted to adopt him. Well, my mother loves you because oh, of I got a call yesterday that makes sense. from my mother. Oh, yeah. Are you adoptable? <laughs> that um, she said, Stephen, I, I saw your deal. And I said, my deal? Yeah, you know your show, The Deal, that, the that, deal. that deal show. I said, The Drill? And she said, oh, yeah, that's why I couldn't find it. So then she went on. Loves John. Loves John. But she knows what loves YouTube is, John. right? Oh, Who no. Went through the whole thing. My mom wanted to know what channel we were on. She couldn't find it. She goes, can, right? can you handle some criticism? And by the way, my mother was a trapeze performer in Ringling Brothers. She performed in USO. She is show folk. All right? Uh -huh. And she says, uh, at the end of the show, last show, you said so long. Tom didn't get to say anything. Oh. I think you should turn to Tom and say, Tom, would you like to say something? So? I will. Yes. Welcome to the drill. Hey! Hey, we got a new worked. show. Yes. We got a new show uh, episode, whatever we want to call it. We have the regular gang in here, minus Schmeeds. Yep. We have Steve Lowry. Yep. We have Tom Hofarth. We have John McKelvey. Hello, everybody. We have the Hello. Ols the Hello. Olsen twins. <laughs> no? No, no, no. They're not Olsen twins. No. Oh. Our intern twins. The yes. intern twins, Elizabeth and Nicole. And we have a special guest who is part of the drill team, as we call it. Jim Thompson, you've seen his illustrations on the Hello. website. Hey. You've Hello. seen uh, his work in the LA Daily News for years. We've been longtime friends, colleagues. Yeah. He's one of my uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, business acquaintances. And yeah. he does. He, he he's managed not the art, not just the art of of editorial illustrating, but of sports biting cartoon. There's a long history of sports illustrations in. Um, in the newspaper industry, and Jim is one of the last sort of guys that's really kind of Sad. kept it yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of a dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I think we all are. That's we all why are we're here. <laughs> it's called the Drill Dinosaur we're, Edition. Yeah, we're trying yeah, to get yeah. some. Low, um, low so we'll, we're going to get to Jim and his career uh, as soon as we hit some of the hot topics and some of his amazing bronze work, as we can see here. Tell me before we get to the hot topics, can I? I, I hope that eventually this show, Jim and I were talking about that the show. We hope that it, it does some great things, and I hope that we can affect people's lives outside of sports. And we, of course, did our mental health episode, and just yep. the last episode we were with a um, sports mental, mental performance yeah. coach. So in that vein, I'd, I'd like to offer this to people. If you have leftover, uh, like, creamy cheese pasta, <laughs> don't eat it for breakfast before you go on television. <laughs> Not, no yeah. particular reason except yeah, uh, don't do that. Or when you tell a oily. guest when you when you assume a guest is going to dress down and he dresses up, so you dress down. It, yeah. It, yeah. You talk talk before the show. Was not aware that it was um, Hawaiian I, shirt day. Well, I went for more of what you would have. Would, would have drawn me with a USC shirt. And plus, right. I went for a little more artistic. I thought too, you would admire way too, it. Way too busy. Yeah, I, I thought you would admire it and both but see, disappointed do, with it. But if I would have done that for how he'd drawn me, I would have like a, a needle <laughs> out of my, we'll talk about this later, a needle out of my arm and like, you know, methamphetamine coming out of my nose. But we'll talk. But it's uh, not like I'm bitter or anything like that. I just wore a shirt that has basically a guy that uh, <laughs> was a human political cartoon. There you so go. Yes, I, I figured I went with a theme. Oh, that's the that's oh. the congressman, right? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, His right. name is Jim Traffigant. Look it up. Oh, oh, the best. I know that dude. Oh, that owes me money. I, I, I was about to <laughs> say you're I never gonna get it. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> Poor Jim hadn't even talked to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. I, yeah, I said something about his shirt. That's true. <laughs> there you go. Okay, good. We'll get more into that, but we want to hit the topics of the day. And the first of all topic that's on everybody's mind, of course. When in the first of all, we're taping this on Thursday, so the N NBA draft is tonight. So if the, you're watching this after the draft, we, we'll just we're not even going to bother telling you how all 30 picks went because you know by now, and it, we, it just it'll ruin the surprise because <laughs> we'll not, we already know how this works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we want to talk about Kawhi Leonard and all this jibber jabber right. about how he could possibly return to Los Angeles' roots, play for either the Lakers or the Clippers. But first, it would take oh, wrestling him away. From San Antonio. Yes. Um, Apparently now he's telling people, you know, you go right ahead and and trade for me. Uh, John and uh, <laughs> Jim are having a little thing. Here. Work? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go ahead and trade for me. I'm signing with them at the end of the season. So if he really does mean that, right. um, then everything gets shut down. And Greg Pappas, who who obviously does not want to trade with the Lakers is great, no. uh, but he might be forced into it. So, you know, and a lot of people are saying, look, why even trade for him? Let him become a free agent. You don't yeah. have to give up any of the kids. Right. And now all of right. a sudden 
but this will be a year out. You would have LeBron, you'd have George, and you'd have Kawhi, and that's a pretty decent team. Is this is this discussion on your radar with your kids? With my kids? Yeah. No, no. Number one, the the oldest is you know, the Navy SEAL. He right. Never did any sports other than sealing. Uh, <laughs> And the the middle kids uh, into music. The young one is a soccer player, played for uh, Denver. But no, we don't talk about that. Okay. I'm curious when you have a son who's a Navy SEAL. Like, do you see signs of like, oh yeah, that kid could go underwater with a rifle and then come up and be ready to mm, take care of business? Go Rambo. Actually, knew. No. Really? Um, yeah, he was he was an artist. He went to art school and then called me and said, I uh, I don't want to be an artist. I'm going to join the Navy. And become a seal. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He was kind of a kind of a geeky kid. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. the training is yeah. the toughest in the world. It is. Mm -hmm. And he got through it just fine. He did. Yeah. And I asked him uh, any any point that you thought you were going to quit. Nope. Never crossed his mind. Wow. Yeah. He's just that kind of guy. Yeah, he is. I mean, if you saw him now, he he scared the. Yeah. Well, if we saw him right now, he'd be, Jesus, be uh, like, we wouldn't see him, and all of a sudden, he'd <laughs> yeah, be like, yeah, oh, right, right, right. Right. yeah, you'd find a horse head in your bed. <laughs> Well, how about the World Cup? You guys talk World Cup at all? Oh yeah, okay. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a topic we spend hours talking about. One of the discussions of of your recent uh, illustrations was of Landon Donovan and his desire to uh, back Team Mexico for this event, which right. which caught a lot of people off guard. You could see why he would, because he says he has a lot of friends on Team Mexico. But then, when you get to the backstory of why he was actually doing this. You presented this. Yeah, I did. I actually came up with the uh, the illustration, but I really didn't know what I was going to put in the, the <laughs> cardboard cutout, so I called Cody, and Cody gave me the idea. All of that is is his, so <laughs> I had I had to cut him in on this. Yeah. I, what I like best about this one the is 69. the little sign that says no. <laughs> the little <laughs> sign that just says <laughs> little sign that just says God bless. God that bless. There's a ring yeah. of truth there. Well, there it is. Yeah. Now I have to say I know he's taking a lot of crap for this. Now number one. Root for whoever you want. I don't care. And if you want to root for Mexico, great. Root for Mexico. It's yeah. North America, and they're a fun team to watch and whatever. That's what Sports Illustrated are, are yeah. just all to do. They said that that's North America's team now, yeah. and we should I mean, I all think, back Yeah, I don't think Mexico. you have to, but But this is okay to, for a to. World Cup, right? Because yeah. if, the, the, the thing that drove me crazy with the Daily News when we were working there yeah. is if the Kings didn't make the playoffs, they just assumed all the hockey fans would be rooting right. for the Ducks. Right. right. That's just, it's not the oh, case. Oh, no, the exact doesn't opposite. Happen. Yeah, it doesn't happen, but they just didn't realize the hockey culture is not like. I'm not saying you have to root for them because they're North America. I'm just saying root for every. I'm rooting for Belgium. What the hell do well, I, I don't, care about I don't Belgium? Have a problem. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. But, right. I mean, if, if, you know, if you're Maradona, uh, are you going to root for Brazil? You know, if, if no, no, Argentina's out. No, no. so no. You know, and he's doing it for the money. Yeah, Come but yeah, that was it, it was, and, it and was not just for the money, but for Wells Fargo money, which yeah. is really our uh, money, right? That's true. We right. bailed them yes. out, and now they're using our bailout money yeah. to. Oh no! But remember, this is that new clean money yeah. that they got. Yeah, oh, that's right. They've changed everything. Yeah, we've it's reestablished. We used yeah. to be a bank. Yeah. yeah, and now yeah. we changed. Now they're friends. Yeah, we're your friends. We have horses. Yeah, right. They want to go back to the horse and buggy. I, by the way, I have no problem with any of this because I I understand why people would be upset him taking money for this. Yeah. But if uh, if they came to me and <laughs> somebody yeah. like, okay, uh, yeah, all right, go so Venusians. One I of the things care. I heard uh, referenced into this was everybody's got a price. Yes. Right? Yeah. Everybody right. has a price. Yeah. Right. Yes. Uh, Golick, you know, on ESPN Radio said he would go. Uh, he would wear. He would do a commercial for enough money wearing a USC sweater. Right. Like he would take it off immediately. Right. And afterwards, well, then he would but, know it was a joke. He was in on the joke, but he well, wouldn't yeah, never be serious still. about it. Yeah. Okay. What, that's, a, that's a good question to what, go around the room, John. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait a second. You're from Ohio. Right? Yes, John. Yes. Would Tom Brady wear something from Ohio State? And just say, you know what? For enough same money, conference. Maybe. <clears throat> yeah. For same enough conference. Money, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah. A, my wife does that with the when in the bowl season starts. Well, if the USC is in the bowl, I'm going to root for all the Pac-12 schools. Yeah, he's repped the Big Ten in the past, yeah. and yeah. like you know, been but very supportive of Ohio the Big State. Ten. So here, they're let, the best team in the Big I'm Ten. I'm just curious. Let's go yeah. around. Like Johnny, what is the one team that it would cost the most for you to wear their either jersey, sweater? I, mine's obvious. Oh, yeah, mine's yeah. mine's obvious. Too. Oh, there's a. It's it's possibly a three way tie between uh, Michigan, Ohio State, and USC, mm -hmm. with Miami bringing up the rear. 
Uh, As he got a lot of anger, should. It's probably, yeah. it, it's probably SC to be. A, John's to be got a lot of well, anger. Well, yeah. Right. Well, I'm a Notre Dame fan. Everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. I hate everybody. So it works. Out. <laughs> By the one, who was Youngstown State's big rival? Uh, it fluctuates between. Is that, uh, a, is that a university? It sure is. <laughs> it fluctuates. Credited and everything. Yeah. Um, well, for well with football, it's usually Northern Iowa has been the. Uh, oh sure, the sure. One. Oh well, is that is that Kurt Warner? Northern uh, Iowa? Yeah, he went to Northern Iowa. There you Iowa. go. That's right. And then, um, and David, uh, David Johnson for the uh, oh, Arizona the Cardinals. Back. Yeah. He went to Northern Iowa. And in more recent years, because it, it's Missouri Valley Conference, everybody's rival is now North Dakota State. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, so, yeah. Of, so what what non-Georgia gear would you never wear? Or, or, yeah. Alabama. Uh, Alabama. Alabama. Oh, okay. Hands down. Yeah. Also, Auburn. Auburn? Not a fan whatsoever. Okay, I would wear Auburn uh, before Alabama. Oh, well, really? yeah, but I wouldn't. Alabama by I, far. You guys, I would seriously think that in the SEC there is no amount of money that like an Auburn person would take to wear an Alabama. Right? I mean, that's how right. insane they right. are. Right? Yeah. It's hardcore. Yeah. I it's thought hard. Auburn Georgia was the big one. It is, but this that's past the year, rivalry? it is. It's the oldest rivalry, but, but this maybe past not the year. Yeah. What about Georgia Tech? Oh, oh that's, not <laughs> that's not even on the radar. Yeah. It's not even competition. No. Tommy, who yeah. about, who about for you? I, you know what? I love them all. I I I, I would have gone to Notre Dame What's if I wrong gone. with him. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. I wore the USC I shirt, but I all. wanted to go to UCLA when I was a kid because right. I love the basketball program. Yeah. I love Notre right. Dame football. Yeah. I love US. I just went to the journalism school. I'm 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 neutral. You're bringing wow. nothing to the table. I'm, I bring right. nothing to this. Right. I'm neutral. Okay. Are we talking about colleges or no? No. Any any. Anything. I, I hate the Celtics with a passion. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hate them. Oh, you know what? That's that would be. Oh hell yeah. That would. Oh hell yeah. 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 Hey, I think that should be all Laker fans. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's like, true. if you're a true Laker fan, and that kind of really uh, – I I was expecting more uh, LeBron support this uh, playoffs yeah. uh, versus the Celtics, but the amount of Laker fans that I saw rooting for the Celtics yeah, it's was sick. an That's abomination. Insane. That was not – That's insane. Yeah, that was just <laughs> – never Because people say, well, it's good if LeBron loses. No, no the no. Celtics. But here's the thing. People have said, like, well, you know, go, uh, I, have, I have friends who live in San Francisco, and they'll say, well, you know, we're now, like, the Lakers' big rivals because we're winning championships. I'm like, here's the thing no. about the Celtics and the Celtics with the Lakers. Yeah. I hate the Celtics, yeah. but I respect them yeah. immensely. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are worthy of the Lakers. Yeah. You know, That's the, why we the, hate them so much, right, yeah. because the, they're usually good. Yeah. The Warriors yeah. are five minutes. You know, yeah. the, the, the Lakers and Celtics have been yeah. winning championships since the 50s. Just like the right. Dodgers-Angels. The Angels will never be their rival. It's Remember, the Giants. Remember, hate. Yeah. Hate only comes out of love. It See, does. we're teaching some more here. Right, so right. again, let's let's go. Creamy pasta, no. Love and love. hate, yes. For breakfast. Thank you. That's right. I have That's a lot right. of love for breakfast. Hey, going back to basketball, uh, Johnny, can we see the uh, the LeBron uh, cartoon? Yes. This because was we done were talking after about the Eastern this. Conference. So tell us. Oh, after the NBA Finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell us about this. This may soon be one of our neighbors. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he might be coming uh, to L.A. So what do you say? And then I'll love him. Yes. Uh, oh, you'll love. Yeah. Will you? I, I will love him. It if he plays for for the Lakers. Uh, where the where the idea come from? Easy. I mean, King James. Yeah. So uh, he's Mr. Excuse. Yeah. He stubs his toe. He's out for two weeks. Uh, there he is. Yep. The the funny thing about this cartoon is that I I did it. I posted it on Twitter. I looked at it and went, uh oh, I did it with his left hand up. Oh, and I I immediately deleted oh, it, okay. and then How funny did that. By the way, is he saying we're number one, or is he saying something <laughs> he's, else? He's doing both. I actually have a funny story about uh, <laughs> playing baseball in high school. Yeah. Um, one of one of our guys was punished, and he was running around the you bases. You went to El Camino Real, right? El Camino, yeah. and he was he's running around uh, the bases. Coach is looking at us as the team, and he's got his finger up, and I yelled at him. His name was Paul Fuller, and said, "Paul, we're not number one." And it took like ten seconds before the the coach finally went. <laughs> <laughs> now you said you said on this one at first you had it on the left and right yeah. and and we've had instances where you've done things for us and we say oh hey can he have a red cap or something right, right. and I'm amazed how quickly so you're not drawing on paper now you're drawing no. on yeah I I do it electronically I use a thing called Painter eighteen mm -hmm. and um, so we we can grab everything's this for a second. Here we go? yeah. yeah. You, this is actually my backup. Okay. Uh, the pins are right there. Okay. So there we go. You use use an electronic pad. Okay. I'm actually left-handed, so I got to change right. over here. So and so I, no I draw on the pad. Yeah. And everything's done in layers. Yeah. So if if I have some mistake, I've made Tom look like uh, 
I don't know. A fool. Uh, yeah. Or a Jackie. Jackie, Steve, Jackie Steve Gleason. Steve looks like he's on meth. I, right. I, I can change it. I can change it because yeah. it's in layers. So right. that's uh, what I do. I, I just I delete that layer and start over. How long have you been using the electronic stuff to do Not your that art? long. About five years. Yeah. How long did it take you to adjust to it? Um, immediately. Oh, no kidding. Oh, no, yeah. No? It, 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 I, so I loved easy. it, actually. And yeah. now I've got uh, the pad that I use now is it's a screen. Right. So this, you, when you turn it on, you're actually looking at a screen. So I'm literally doing this, looking, looking at, at a screen oh. and drawing. So it's oh. a little bit more difficult. And I bought the interactive uh, screen. Right. And now I'm looking at what I'm drawing. So right. So it takes half the time, and it's a lot easier. Okay. So like as writers, a lot of times we'll sit down. People think this, we always say, people think this is writing. But writing just goes on here while you're right. walking around and all yeah. that stuff. Right. For you, let's say with this LeBron one. Did you do you start going just on faith that something's going to come to you, or do you walk around, go jogging to get? Yeah, your that's idea? an interesting question because um, it depends. Yeah. Sometimes the idea comes to me immediately, and I've got it in my head, and I just start drawing. Right. Other times, I will just start sketching and hope that something comes yeah. to me. Right. Often, you know, the caption isn't uh, isn't completed. I just want to do something, or I'll call Tom. Sometimes right. I do that. Call my kid. You know, what do you think? And and it comes to me like I we just, would like we would do story ideas. I would tell him, "Hey, I'm I'm doing a column on Saturday that's about this." And he right. would he would say, "What if I do this?" And I go, "Hey, what if you do this?" And then we just yeah. start bantering. And then before you know it, he has an idea that can change because you know it's it's that easy to do. Because back in the day when we worked at the Daily News office, he would bring in like, literally a sheet yeah. of paper that he drew it, and it was probably black and white because we didn't yeah, have color. Was. Right. And just says, here's my thing, scan it in, you know, right. and, and let's, and yeah. then, then you go, oh, you know what, this word is misspelled. So you get the white out, the liquid white out sometimes, you fix <laughs> the letters, true. and that's, that's the true. only way you could do it because, I mean, that's, that was the artist, uh, the way, the way. We yeah, it was, it, I, I used a thing called graphics paper, and there were two fluids that you used. You mm. do the, the sketch, and then you would have fluid that would do a crosshatch, and then the second fluid would do the uh, multiple uh, cross edge. So yeah. you would have like a shade of gray and then a right. darker shade of yeah. gray. It's right. all shades, yeah. There's so few sports <clears throat> cartoonists left, right? Do, do, yeah, who did That's you grow right. up looking at? Uh, did you go to the Herald Examiner and look at Carl Hubenthal? And yeah, all, uh, yeah those of guys. course. But I mean, I didn't try to emulate yeah. anybody. No. Yeah. Well, I don't actually, think any of yours really are. I wouldn't say, oh, this is this guy. Yours is so different, unique, and and. Awesome. Has, well, the Bill Walton one is obviously the. Oh, oh one. I love that. And Bill, uh, Bill loved that. Again, Not we bad. were. I did a Q and A with Bill. I said, Jim, what can you come up with? And you just said this. Bill loved it so much that you sent him a copy and he signed it for you. Right. It was just cool. Yeah. Uh, speaking of athletes that you've done things for, you, you may have noticed beautiful, beautiful statue that Jim also did. This is a Mike Trout, and you told me, and I said, oh, it's up the catch, and you said this actually predates <laughs> the famous Mike Trout catch. Yes. That's incredible. People, people don't believe that. I'm also a lawyer, and people don't believe the, right. that I that I um, tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they actually believe that I don't tell the truth. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, they they don't believe that I didn't take any prep before um, taking the bar. Right. You know, everybody does that. So when I uh, when I tell people now, I, I just kind of winged it. Yeah. They don't believe me. Right. But, it, but it's absolutely true. I right. mean, it's just back then I used to be smart. Uh, <laughs> You well, that's what us. surprises me, that you're not a sketch artist in a courtroom. Oh, that would be right, right? right. Oh, yeah. I could do Tom, you uh, could do Tom Brady. You told us that you did, <laughs> right, you did right. something <laughs> like this for Shaq, a, a, a statuary of Shaq, well, and I, then approached their people, and what was their reaction? No, what, what happened was I, I got a call from one yeah. of his peeps. Yeah. Know, hey, uh, we've seen your stuff online. Um, can you do Shaq? And I went, of course I can do Shaq. All right, so give me a, give me a price. So... Obviously, I have hard costs and then, you know, jack it up to make a profit. I quoted them what it would cost me. That's it. Yeah, what it would cost me. And, and they just went, oh, no, that's <laughs> way too much. No, 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 no. And so this, I, I didn't know what to do. It's like, what the holy baloney. And we I, were talking about this, how actually many of your favorite uh, sports stars who make millions, hundreds of millions a year, LeBron James included. Yeah. Are the cheapest people you're ever going to meet? Well, he, no, LeBron is notoriously frugal, as his uh, his teammates will say. Um, but Charles Barkley straight out called out Michael Jordan and said he's cheap <laughs> and doesn't tip. Right. And uh, he's they say the same thing about Shaq apparently that he's. Cheap. So with LeBron James, he he bought those suits. I mean, is that why the pants are so short? <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't, didn't really want to go he full cost. Gonna, he wasn't spending he, the whole cost. Uh, no, he's trying. That's his new business. He's going to have esper drills, right? LeBron, uh, one of his things was he won't even pay the nine bucks a month for Spotify. 
You yeah. make the commercials. Oh, come on. He I has. Kinda like that. They made fun of him in. Uh, I think it was on. Uh, uh, what's his name's podcast? Uh, I'm blanking on his name right now. Uh, Richard Pearl? Jefferson. Richard yeah. Jefferson's oh, Rich, podcast. Oh, that, they that were talking true. about how they make fun of him because they'll hook up his phone into like the sound system, and then all of a sudden a commercial will start playing in the middle of uh, uh, Pandora. Oh and no! And they're just giving him crap. Like it's you eight dollars. Do it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's no. It's a case of the richer you are, the more free things you expect. Yes. And it's just a, it's, it's you get fed into this in the Hollywood thing with the gift bags when you go to events. Right. And, uh, it. I don't know how uh, it's... There's also the uh, the Warren Buffett and uh, Bill Gates argument where they dress like, you know, they just right. shopped in, at Macy's and they're wearing a $30 sweater right. and $30 pants, but they have billions and billions of dollars. So where do you prioritize well, your spending? You don't make money by spending it, or do you? He does spend a million dollars on his body. On his year. body, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Hey, Jim, these things are for sale, right? Anyone yes. Anyone can buy these? Yeah, they, these are they fantastic. Can. These are your really website cool. is... Uh, actually, I don't remember. It's uh, thompsonsportsart.com. <laughs> thompsonsportsart.com, right? There I put that go. on your. I put that on your bio. No, I was now thinking, that's on I was, our website. I was thinking my Twitter handle. Your Twitter handle, Jim, Jimmy too Sports short. Tunes. Johnny, can you call up <laughs> the drill? Oh, okay. let's talk about this. The shall team we? photo. This All is right. the revised team photo. Let, it let's, is. Let, let's work left to right. Yeah. So first off, we've got Tom there. Yeah. Which, which, when I first saw it, I go... There were, there were a couple of iterations I went through. I said, good God, do I look like Jackie Gleason or what? <laughs> and so he slimmed me down a little One bit. One of these yeah. days, And Alice. then he gave me the tie, which I didn't... Bing, bong, boom! I've never worn a tie on the show, but I said, is there a way that tie can make me look slimmer? <laughs> right. So we put the stripes in it, which... Yeah. Make you look larger. And right. I can't... I, sh- I should have done them uh, vertical yeah, rather than horizontal. Right. I'll, I'll roll with it. Yeah. I think the only way that tie could make you slimmer is if it was forcing you to do sit-ups. I think that way... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you yeah. need to pull on me. This is... Someone needs to be on Tom, the other end. Tom, this is tough love. I was trying to... <laughs> I thank you for it, and I hate you for it. <laughs> I have never seen you smoke a cigar. Do you smoke? Well, I used to do more, but now it's yeah. just a prop. It, it, I think yeah. it's really? A prop. Yeah. yeah. I did it in the office, and it would just drive people crazy. Oh, no this, kidding. This was pre- Back in the days when you Pre, could, you can't yeah. do that kind of uh, stuff right. in the office. That's how, how old we are. Get in yeah. the elevator with it and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, and there's the Schmeedster. So Schmeed's. Schmeed's. Schmeed's Schmeed's. The, the raccoon is- Okay, so let's they, talk yeah, that's about your the logo. Because yeah. you have yeah. nailed the raccoon. Thank like, you. He, he is, like, we just talked about it. Like, this is what we want the raccoon to seem like. We want him to be- uh, sly, but we also want him to be someone you like. You want him to be someone yeah. who gets things done and totally self-confident. Yeah. And that's him. That's him. Do you yeah. notice what he's doing with your uh, right knee? He's like... Patting it? Yeah. He, yeah. That's why he's got that, that sly smile on his face. <laughs> like, he likes you. I love the <laughs> raccoon. Oh my God, Steve, when you were driving here, did you go up Artesia by any chance? No. There was a dead raccoon in Miller Street. No. Aww. I was so sad. Why do you have to bring that? I know. Because yeah. it reminded Jeez. me of... You got a guest, right? You're talking about your guest. <sighs> Lord. I'm sorry, but I just I, I had to stop. I was going to pick it up. Did you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. I wanted to. Yeah. No, I wanted yeah. to stop and see if I could help it, and then it was not. It was. In so many ways, Jim has helped me through my raccoon trauma. As of course, began Good. with the raccoons in my house. Yeah, I'll bill you later. Hating them, and then the more we <laughs> talked about it, and then yeah. and then John making me appreciate that they weren't zombies. So then True. I was like, oh, they're not quite as bad. And yeah, then this, I yeah. actually have come to love. Raccoons now. I think they are, right. as John describes them, the lions of the uh, I, city. I'm here to help. No, I think I called them trash pandas. <laughs> or that. Trash yeah, pandas. Right. <laughs> trash well, that's pandas. good. But they're like fantastic, that. right? They're, th- you mentioned an example of an animal that has actually flourished because of urbanization. Yes. They oh, are, yes. They are one of the, uh, that and uh, peregrine falcons in New York City. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch. Yeah. So Jaguars. St- and So, Steve, how do you like uh, okay, your, yourself Okay, so let, in this? let's yeah. get into this. Okay, so... <laughs> And and the inflated palm tree. You know. Yes, oh, always, palm. always. Okay, so that, there was a previous iteration of that, uh-huh. and I was all the way yeah, on yeah, the left, right. and my hands were kind of like this. Oh, well, they were down here, which as I they have are. to own. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you but have, you do. I, as I've mentioned, as he's telling you, times on this show, I just look like I really like drugs. I just, <laughs> I'm just. You don't like that one? This is a little less crazy. <laughs> guys, but is this, guys, isn't that good? Doesn't that look like him? Kind is of that him? Yeah. Yeah. Looks yeah. Not? Okay, yeah, just like, like you, him. Steve. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I, And I'm just noticing this. I got a Jay Leno chin. Okay, yeah. that's oh. number one. Jay yeah. Leno chin. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm looking at it's it from a here. I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking a little like Bob Hope. 
like Bob Hope on a three day bender. Now, more no, like, you're, re- you're reading no, too more much. More like into Richard it. Nixon. Oh. Too, oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> on a five day bender. I do bender. look like I look like David Fry doing Richard Nixon. That is such a reference right. for our old viewers. You're welcome. Okay. All right. And Me then more. here's the other thing. Me yeah. More. I just I can change this. No, 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 no. I love this. And then, of course, John John at my feet. That to me is just lovely. I just yeah. that's how I'd like. Us Again, to originally think he was wearing other. a gray cap and yes. he, he blended right in with Steve. So he said, want to give him a right. I'd like to I give him an us. Ohio State cap. So I like to think, change. I like to think of John and I as one. Yeah, that's, that's true. And I've told you that on multiple occasions. But, you know, you're yeah. getting a little weird. <laughs> wait, wait. He's getting if you're calling love well, weird. Yeah, yeah. But Jim now is in the <laughs> raccoon guest chair, apparently. I guess. That's right. I'm the raccoon. Oh, I love oh. the raccoon. Hello, everybody. Oh. Do, are we going to see maybe different oh, iterations of the what? raccoon in the future doing different things? Oh, absolutely. Yay. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's the logo. If you want to go back to the news of the day, which yes. I'm checking my sheet here. We do yeah. have some news. I wanted to bring up really some quick that you put on your Twitter post. And being from your lawyer chair, mm. there was a story that came out recently about Reggie Bush receiving a $12 million judgment from a St. Louis jury based right. on the fact he injured himself at the old St. Louis Dome. Right. You had a great comment about that. Do you remember that? Which one? That he's not going to get the punitive no. damages? He won't get the punitive, but also why did this decision happen, do you think? Oh, yeah, because they left. Uh, it was the, a St. Louis jury. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, oh, a St. Louis, it's a yeah. St. Louis jury, and absolutely. You know, I'm a trial lawyer, so you know, people are people. They're, yeah. they're sitting there. They've got their own opinions. The Rams left. Yeah. They gave that award to him because they were just doing the, you left, yeah. we're giving this guy some money. The Los Angeles Rams have to pay if this. If they were yeah. still in right. St. Louis, Bush's attorneys probably would have asked for a, a change of venue, right? They would have been They like, wouldn't get it, though. Oh, okay. No. And there's no way they win if they're still in St. Louis. No, I, I I absolutely think that he would have gotten something. If oh. I was their lawyer, yeah. I would have, because it really is a dangerous condition. Yeah. But he wouldn't have gotten what he got. Yeah. And the punitive damage is absolutely zero. Yeah. Punitives don't make any sense at all mm-hmm. because you get punitives when when something is so open and obvious and you just don't care and you know somebody's going to get hurt. Okay. There was concrete. Yeah. If a player sees that, they might slip. But how are you going to anticipate that somebody that's a pro athlete mm-hmm. is going to tweak his left knee? But didn't that happen yeah. before? Isn't that once. one of the reasons? So in in how many years that they were there? But isn't once too many times? No. It's not no? not for punitives. Oh, okay. So I. On appeal, um, punitives are gone. That's my okay. opinion. Okay. But that's cool. again where you can put your lawyer hat on and you can you can decipher a story that most of us wouldn't even kind of think twice about. It's yeah. And, you know, occasionally when I write something that has a legal opinion, and then you check to see if somebody's checked your your profile, and then you don't get any comments oh, there you because go. people look at my yeah. my Twitter feed and they see oh trailer, damn it. <laughs> I thought I probably does know what he's talking yeah. about. And what what is you had a theory too about when people of our ilk ilk yeah. um, get into trouble, they we they tend to be lawyer. we no we tend to be dismissed because we are lit- of a litigious generation. Yeah, we're older dudes like yeah. us. Yeah. Well, no, that's why people don't mess with us. Right. Because they they think we're gonna sue, and so they're like, oh no no, just don't even mess with the old grumpy guy. Yeah. Huh. yeah. What were we discussing? It was an interesting conversation we were having. I'm blanking on it. It had to do with. Why someone can get away with something, yeah, and we we would be the ones that would just go, oh, we're not going to mess with them. But we're gonna, exactly, we're yeah, gonna... yeah, yeah. They're just not going to mess with us. Huh. I can think of one really big reason, and it <laughs> happens to do with uh, everybody in the room. <laughs> yes, I would say that's true too. What we're all what? working for free? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, not quite. Let's talk about the World Cup. The World Cup, yeah. uh, again, are you watching it on Fox or are you watching it on Telemundo? Uh, uh, here's my thing. So this, this is the biz, right? Yes, we're All going right. to the biz. We'll, okay. we'll segue now into the sports business world. Where on on the drill.com, the drillla.com, I posted a column right. about Fox and Telemundo coverage, uh, pros and cons. Uh, mostly Telemundo is drawing the big ratings every time Mexico is on, of, of course. course. But it also in general, they're drawing pretty, pretty really good rating, ratings right. for Los Angeles in general, the Hispanic market. Right. Um, and the and one of the reasons is because a lot of people are not happy with the Fox broadcast. Right. I'd love John to talk about this because John's actually in broadcasting, and the two big things Fox has done recently: they've done the U.S. Open <laughs> yes. and they've done the World Cup. Yes. Both broadcasts really show you how important it is to have a broadcast team. Their their U.S. Open coverage 
it it's felt disjointed, disjointed yeah, yeah. bizarre, weird. It, 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 when you're watching, well, they've already had two main analysts. They came in with Greg Norman. Now they've got Paul Azinger, and still they're just trying to figure things out. I'm the first one to say that CBS goes way overboard with their quasi-religious um, <laughs> right. uh, treatment uh, of golf, treatment yeah. of, of especially the Masters. But then Johnny Johnny Miller and NBC is almost the other side of the right. spectrum. Right, but but there's a there's yeah. a feel to right. them. They're an yeah. like the way like the Showtime Lakers had a feel and the yeah, Celtics yeah. Yeah. had a feel. Right. There was a feel to this. This was like iso ball. It's like okay, you talk. Okay, now you talk. Right. But <laughs> if there's nothing there, and I feel like their World Cup coverage. Everyone f- seems like they just met five minutes ago mm. because one of the things that we've now, I think, come to expect because of Charles Barkley and that crew yeah, yeah. is that people can Chemistry start will really work. go at each yeah. other knowing that, oh, they just like, like each other. Just like how our shows do. Exactly. Yeah. But they don't. You can tell they're, they're <laughs> nervous. Yeah, they are. I got to point at you more. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Johnny. Everybody's <laughs> got to poke at him. Poke. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that just has to come over time? Um, it's something that definitely can be developed over time. Um, I think really great producers, and I've worked with uh, one in particular who now works at Syracuse University. She uh, was able to uh, – ab- she really fostered great chemistry between uh, analysts and play-by-play, and she did that mostly by being super over prepared. Okay. She uh, gave them more than enough to talk about. She filled their head with ideas if they didn't have enough to talk about already in the game. Right. Um, she was great at communicating back and forth between talent and then all the work that goes up leading up to it. Right. Uh, you know, between conference calls with coaches and everything else. Um, what seems to be missing with some of this uh, coverage to me, at least on Fox's side, because I – I watch some of the Telemundos. Like, I watch the game on Telemundo because, I, yeah. like I've said, I don't really care too much about the commentary. Right. And if I could understand a third of it, I think I'm doing better at Spanish. You're right. right. You, so, it is a good Spanish lesson yeah. for right. a lot of us. So it just kind of seems like they haven't had the – and I, I know that Fox has been overly prepared for this, and they've been preparing for years. But it seems as though the – I don't know if the talent hasn't had enough time or if their producer – of the actual show is like not feeding them enough information to keep conversations flowing properly or if they're just the stories are just not all that interesting to them and if they're not and they just don't care then yeah. kind of move on well they've already oh. messed with their their studio show they've already brought somebody else in and knocked somebody else out so who's supposed to be their lead guy yeah the german guy who right? is it uh lothar lothar right. yeah yeah king of the bog people or whatever <laughs> I mean, here's the yeah. thing, to, like Johnny, like they, it's not like Fox doesn't do soccer. They do, they do. They've had a Fox has had a soccer channel for a year, and yeah. they have the, they right. already have the people. I don't know why they. But brought the crazy all these new thing is, in. yeah, talk about broadcaster. Their plan was to have Gus Johnson doing the oh. main play-by-play, and they, they brought him along like four or five years ago until they realized he doesn't want to do it, and we don't want him yeah. to do it. Mm-hmm. It would just, it would, it would overwhelm the broadcast with his style. Plus, he just doesn't, he wasn't picking up the nuances of it. You know what it seems too like. I wish they would just take all the Sky Sky is a, a network in England, and I, I wish they would just take all their announcers. But what they've done is they've used the Sky reporters. But the Sky reporters, when they're talking about the team, like they're doing Argentina, it looks like just off camera someone has a gun pointed at them because <laughs> they think they have. I think they think they have to dumb it so far down. So the guy who does the kicky of the ball, <laughs> he's not happy, or it, it's like awful. Full, uh, full disclosure: Sky is owned by News Corporation. Yeah. Okay, News Corp, Corp which is so also why, owns Fox. So why right. don't they just use yeah. those guys? They, it's the infrastructure is already. They're trying in place. to Americanize it. They're trying um, to Americanize yeah. it. They're trying to. To uh, bring it to a more Hispanic market yeah. through the American market, right. yeah. um, because that's a giant market in the United States. But John, when you understand. agree, part of the fun of of becoming a soccer fan is that it's not yeah. American. Is that you, it gives you this Learning. wider view yeah. of different countries and cultures and yeah. different ways of yeah. going about things. Yeah. yeah, but they still have to kind of pa- make it palatable to uh, the American fan. Right. Well, yeah. the play in Peoria. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing that we were watching the game yesterday, the Spain-Iran game, right? Yeah. Uh, Classic so trap game, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, well, it was. My, na- my neighbor, Plus. my Persian neighbor, we thought uh, they were going to get... Fred! Freddie. Freddie. Fred. Thought they were going to get uh, beat 3 to nothing. He's happy with one nothing. <laughs> But we heard him screaming next door, and which allowed the dogs to start barking. Right. We actually didn't hear him scream. Right. Something Scream's would happen, and all of a sudden the dogs So we saw a goal by Iran. Yeah. 
which was not a goal, apparently, but yeah. the broadcasters on Fox were calling it a goal because they could not, first of all, they're calling this game at a off a monitor in West L.A. <laughs> they did not see the referee put the flag up for the offsides call. So we were watching it, and we couldn't understand why, what happened. Right. We thought it hit the side of the net or something. That's what they thought, actually. That's right, yeah. That's what they said. And so, again, That's we're reading, said. we're going Twitter, right? Right, right. Twitter explains to us what had happened. Right. Uh, so, again, they get they, they paint themselves in a corner with their coverage, and they can't even get some of it right because they're not there. That that was the biggest drawback to them not being there. You know, Thomas, you're you're talking about a ref putting up a flag that shows that you're a soccer newbie. All right, so what what, what, do you, what happened? It's the AR. It's the assistant oh. referee. Oh, yes. And did he put the, up a flag, the, or did he do what? Uh, he did. Oh, okay. Well, but so I'm just talking about <laughs> you not knowing soccer. This is the first I don't. episode I don't claim we've to. had. <laughs> that he's not referred to soccer as kickball. So we're making ah, progress. That's true. I, I or, call or, it, or football. Yeah. No, no. I call it, it professional football. kickball. I've always called it professional kickball, and it's just it's only because it just well, makes I, people I, angry. Yeah, i got to admit that when my kid first started, and he was really good. He yeah. obviously played D1. Mm-hmm. But where do you play I at? Just, huh? Where do you play at? Uh, he's a goalie. No, where? What D- school? Uh, uh, Denver. Oh, sweet. DU. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, good yeah. school, yeah. Um, yeah, they were in the, the Final Four a couple mm-hmm. years ago. Um, in any event, I just – I didn't understand a sport where you couldn't touch it with your hands but my kid my kid could because he was the goalie so i was it was palatable so they, were to you me. one of the the parent referees all growing up with the kids games yes yeah, yeah. And so I you gave everybody red cards and ended the game <laughs> and then handed out the orange slices yeah yeah, yeah right yeah. they made me do that one game wife. i just kept calling offside 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 like nothing the ball just stayed in the i middle coached my yeah. kid's soccer team and knew nothing about it i just rolled the ball out and said who how many do we need okay get out there i'm yeah. actually a certified ref for soccer. Really? I was an uncertified yeah. coach. <laughs> wow. <laughs> do you still do you still ref? Yeah. yeah no yeah, yeah. kidding. Right. Yeah. What ha- have you had that soccer moment of the crazy parent or all the time. So <laughs> come on. All the well Give. Yeah, look, uh, you know the my favorite one is I'll just walk over to the the you know parent that just can't control themselves and I'll say, "Do you want to watch the game in your car because oh. you can leave." Right. Just shut up. Right. Watch the game. Did you give them the look? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. But I, I don't scream. That's I'm, good. I'm, it's actually more effective when you go over and, and treat them like a little kid, like, dude, they're nine. Or, <laughs> dude, they're, they're 11. Would you right. calm down? Right. The, what, what the world the is oldest, not going to change. What would be the oldest kids you would be? Oh, I do 17s. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually fun. That would be, that would be. Uh, Have you ever kicked out a parent? Oh, yeah. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. It's not uh, not difficult Wouldn't because it? when they when they get abusive, when they start being personal about stuff, when mm. they start offending, you know, do you know Steve Lowry? That kind of stuff. I throw them right out. That's off base. Oh, they yeah, should. Just, that's they should. Off base. Yeah. Steve, when was the last time you got thrown out of a sporting event? Uh, when is the last time I got thrown out? Oh, you know what? I'll tell you when it was, and you're not going to be surprised. I was about six years old. <laughs> I was about six years old, and one of my best friends, Dave Duck. Hey, Dave. He he counts as the first time he noticed me we're playing in like a little league basketball situation and um when i was not in the game i would just do commentary about the game <laughs> and, and i'm talking, Boy, talking yeah that's that's shocking so the ref this guy is coming yeah. up and down and he keeps like he would go and he go hey kid shut up okay and then we'd go like and, and he go hey kid shut up and then would you shut up and i oh okay and then i can't help myself he went and i went and he goes Get the hell out of my gym! And that was it, yeah. Wow. Just talk, 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 talk. Oh. I can't help myself. I got tossed from a girls' basketball game in high school. How so? The ref was bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I let him know. Oh, oh really? Apparently. <laughs> and, <what? laughs> and how did he kick you out? Or she kick you out? I don't know if it was a... It was a guy. Thing. Okay. It was a guy. Uh, stopped the game in the middle of the thing. What uh, was the final mm, that got you out? What did you do? What did you do, John? Uh, I don't remember exactly what the line was because this was <laughs> was uh, it good? Because I respect I good lines. Good, good lines. Yeah. I had I had good line you know, people around me laughed, so uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was good. Totally worth yeah. it then. Right. Totally worth it. I will it, never yeah. kick somebody out if they're funny, <laughs> and I've told them that. You heard that, it. Okay, you're creative. You stay. <laughs> I, I think that's why I got to stay at a Dodger game a couple years ago. Cause, oh really? Yeah. Uh, my one buddy and I, uh, we were sitting quite close. And uh, the first base ump blew a call right at the. It was fair. It was uh, first base, you know, close play. It was before replay. But it, no, it was replay. Okay. And they overturned it. Oh. And so from that on, we just oh. rode him. We you just should. Could As not you help. should. And then um, 
went on what? went on ESPN's <laughs> website and found his name. Oh. oh, and so then his name was Marv, and we were of course yelling, it was. We were yelling Marv at him. The Marv. Answer. And then about the seventh inning, he put a bunch of he put like four sticks of gum in his mouth, and I just couldn't help it at that point. I was like, "Hey, Marv, Marv, do you have any more gum, Marv?" <laughs> and uh, that went for about an inning and a half. And uh, in in the middle of the ninth, he actually took the gum when I uh, I asked one more time if he had any more gum, and he threw it in our direction. Yeah, yes. so, awesome. I have been game the used subject, umpire gum. Is I have been the yeah. subject of why someone got uh, thrown out. It was a little league coach, and this guy's kid started beating up another one of our kids. Oh. So I separated them. The dad comes down. I think he's coming down to show support and say hey, thanks, yeah, Steve, whatever. Right. And so I said, hey, I got it, I got it. And that's when I hear him say. I'll tear your effing head off. I'm like, me? Wow. And, uh, yeah, the, and then the kid starts cursing at me, and then the uh, the ump says, uh, what's going on over there? And ends up throwing out the parent and all that. I think we just ended the game. Like, the game just kind of ended Jeez. there. It was a really you – know, but, but you stayed. Oh. You know, I think that's – I believe that's the last Little League game I ever coached. I got thrown out of a footlocker for arguing about the price of shoes. Oh. True. By a guy with striped shirt. No, it's not true, but it would have been a great story. <laughs> yeah, that is a great awesome. story. I like <laughs> that. I think on. I'll steal it. <laughs> Very good. Very How good. about you, gals? When was um, the last time you guys got thrown out of a game? Okay. Yeah. I've never been thrown out of a game, but my dad has. Yes! Oh, of course. So <laughs> That's what dads do. He was the head coach with this other guy who was the assistant coach, and there was a bad call on the field. My dad gets really into it. And he was saying, ref, put some glasses on, like all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But the ref thought it was the assistant coach talking. And so he goes, one more word out of you and you're out. Keeps going on, whatever. Then another call happens. My dad pissed about it, says it. And he goes, hey, you, talking to the assistant coach who hasn't said a word the entire time. <laughs> you're out of there. My right. dad was like. And the guy Sorry. was like, wait, what? I didn't say anything. Yeah. And my dad never said that it was him. So <laughs> oh, wow. he still has not told him that it was him wow. to this wow. day. And I was about nine. So. Oh, hey, but what a life lesson, right? <laughs> what a wow. life lesson. Yeah, the life lesson is throwing your dad under the bus. Nice job, Nicole. <laughs> Sorry, Dean. Yeah, this is on tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's wow, we. He's going to need therapy. Note to self, don't tell Nicole anything personal. <laughs> don't wow, we. cross Nicole. <laughs> wait, exactly. Elizabeth hasn't spoken yet. Oh. Yeah. No. Elizabeth? I don't yeah. have anything. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. My parents are good, too. Oh, oh, I'm not going to oh. tattle on them. <laughs> she just <laughs> learned. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Steve oh, spoke too like soon. Yes, oh. exactly. So how do you want to wrap up this show? We've gone through all kinds of the news of the day. We've gone through Jim's uh, bronze. Do you know he has a, another bronze down oh, here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's. If there's a way show. we can bring this up here, without this breaking one. it. Come here. Come here. Go. This is just as oh Jim's pride God, and joy. This is heavy. It is. I'm going to put it right down. I'm over not here. being able to carry it. Ah, there we go. Okay. Come Woo-hoo. back. Come back. <laughs> Come back, Steve. <laughs> Help me out, Steve. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. We got this. Oh, this is very nice. This is I my don't want to bring I don't want to crush is my his favorite. Leash. His is leash. that anyone in particular? Is that It a, is not. Okay. I, I I lied to you before and said this was me. <laughs> I did I did surf, but uh, I could never cut back like that's that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Um, yeah. In fact, this has been my most popular piece. I think I've sold again on the website. You can see that again. Ten of these. Oh no! Oh kidding. really? Way yeah. to go! So how do you create this? If you can do ten of these, do you have a mold for this that you just? Uh, yeah, created? you start in wax, and uh, it's actually yeah. Have another half an hour to talk about this. <laughs> Is this but the lost yeah, wax. Yeah, thing yeah the lost, talk, lost. We talk wax. about this because at our store, Ten Thousand Villages, another sponsor, we sell a lot of lost wax sculptures like this. But in the country where they make them, they break the mold and start all over oh, again. Oh, okay. Yeah, with uh, beeswax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you start with the uh, the the wax original, and then you you um, do a rubber mold. Right. And then you take the rubber mold off, and then you can do you know multiples of you know, like twenty twenty five before it starts to break down. Oh. But uh, um, to cast it, you use a slurry. So it's poured over and over for about two days and builds up. It's about that thick, and then you pour the the, the bronze in, and it uh, it cools. You break it off. You, you break the mold. Yeah. Yeah, wow. you break, yeah, you break the mold. No, it's gorgeous. Yeah, thanks. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, Tommy, I, I think the way I would end is by saying so long. And Tom, Tom. do you have anything you'd like to say? <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Obita Shane, goodbye. <laughs> hey, we want to thank Jim for, thank, for thank being you. here. Thank you. This was fantastic. Hey, Jim, what's your, what's your Twitter so people can follow? Uh, Jimmy Toons. 
Jimmy yep. Tunes. Oh, yeah. and by the way, uh, Jimmy Tunes and the website now is up and it's fantastic. Thanks to Elizabeth and Nicole. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Nicole. The Drill LA, the Drilla. I think it's really com. nice looking. It is nice. Jim's on there. We're on there. There's Jim's uh, the raccoon banner. Is on there. Yeah, the, the logo, the the, yeah. co- the raccoon. That Go is going to there. be sold on shirts. Yeah. Yes. We'd love you to uh, take a look and participate where you can. And um, we yeah, up, we we're updated very proud of it. All the time. Yeah. Uh, our Twitter. Our Twitter. Thank you for the there. invite, gentlemen. No, yeah. this was this was great. This was long overdue. It's yeah. uh, glad you made the haul from the valley. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. who's paying me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if, uh, you, if I you believe s- that's if Elizabeth. You s- if, if you sell something, you know, <laughs> we'll take our ten no, percent. No, no. yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, thanks for joining the drill today. We'll uh, come up with a new show next week and uh, check you out, Steve. You want to say anything? That was for you, Mom. <laughs>